hope this beef jerky Aunt Gore was telling me about is worth all this fucking trouble. But at least I didn't have to get spices from hell this time. Wait. What? I said, what the hell? This is the creepiest cabbage patch I've ever seen. I mean, uh, you, you know, it's like, uh, like cabbage, pa cabbage patch people. You're, you're like a cabbage patch person. That was the, uh, that was the joke. Well, fuck you, I'm hilarious. Welcome to another episode of Horror Movie Cocktails with Aunt Gore. I'm Aunt Gore, and joining me today is Farmer Vincent's favorite farm animal, Frankie. Ugh, I swear to the toe god, if I'm buried in the ground at the end of this, I quit. As you might have already guessed, today we are making treats based on the 1980 horror classic, No Tell Hell. Seriously, please, don't bury me. Today we're going to make a potted dirt dessert with marzipan, human heads, and Farmer Vincent's Bloody Mary with human jerky garnish. Let's start with the potted dirt dessert. For this recipe, you will need the following. Small, clean pots. I found a pack of three at my local Dollar Tree. Sucker sticks, paper straws, or wooden skewers all work for skewering the marzipan heads. So use whatever you have on hand. Small zombie or face silicone mold. I found mine on Amazon and I'll have a link below for that. A mallet or something heavy for crushing the Oreos. Scissors if your straw, skewer, or stick needs to be shortened. A very small paintbrush. A whisk. A large bowl. Large spoon or spatula and two Ziploc bags. You will also need the following ingredients. An optional half to two grams of activated cannabis oil, depending on how many you are making, how much you are planning on eating, and of course your tolerance level. One or two packages of instant chocolate pudding, or one to two packages of cooked chocolate pudding, if you are using the cannabis just make sure to add the cannabis oil towards the end of the cooking process. Milk, whatever amount your package calls for. A package of Oreos. Shredded coconut, sweetened or unsweetened, whatever your preference. Marzipan or almond paste. Black, red, and green food coloring and your choice of gummy worms. I found these fairly realistic looking ones on Amazon and I'll have a link below for them. First take a little over a sleeve of Oreos, more or less depending on your preference and how many pots you are making, and place them into a Ziploc bag, seal them, and smash the fuck out of them. <laughs> Next take about a half a cup of coconut, again more or less depending on how many pots you are making, Place it in a Ziploc bag with a few drops of green food coloring. Shake until the coconut looks like grass. You may need to add a little more or less depending on your desired color. Set that aside. Next, take your almond paste and make some faces with your mold. Carefully remove them and stick your skewer, sucker stick, or straw into the bottom of the head. Take your marzipan heads and add detail with a fine paintbrush and just a drop of black food coloring and red food coloring. Add whatever details you like. Now make your pudding according to the directions on the package. Next, place your gummy worms into the pot however you like. I think it's kind of fun to have one of them trying to escape the pot, but do whatever you like. Once the pudding is set, Mix in about three-fourths of the crushed Oreos into your pudding. Now divide your pudding into your pots. Top it with crushed Oreos 
and then with the coconut grass. Now stick your head into the center. You may need to cut down your skewer or straw to get it to the correct height. And that's all there is to the potted dirt dessert. So Frankie, how did you like munching on human faces? Um, you know, these are surprisingly tasty, but you know, I'm a big fan of uh, almond paste. Oh no, Frankie. This marzipan isn't made of almonds. It's made of people. Oh ha ha. Like this is a uh, people. <laughs> oh dear God, no. Now let's make Farmer Vincent's Bloody Mary with human jerky garnish. You will need the following. Two glasses with ice, a shaker with ice, a jigger or a shot glass, a skewer, which is optional, paper straws. You will also need the following ingredients. Three ounces of pepper vodka. If you would like to make your own, check out my Hellraiser episode where I show you how to make it. I will have a link below for that as well. About one can of V8 juice, a squeeze of lime juice, a couple dashes of Worcestershire sauce, a dash of liquid smoke, a dash or more of hot sauce, cracked black pepper, a pinch of seasoning salt, half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and half a teaspoon of garlic powder. You will also need your choice of beef or human jerky, because after all, meat's meat when you gotta eat. Also optional, I had these fingers just laying around, so I added them with a skewer for a garnish. You can also add any garnish you typically like in your Bloody Mary, olives, celery, etc. Go crazy. In your shaker with ice, add the vodka, V8 juice, lime juice, Worcestershire sauce, liquid smoke, hot sauce, black pepper, seasoning salt, cumin, smoked paprika, onion and garlic powder, and shake. Then strain between your two glasses with ice. Add your human jerky, fingers, and straw, and any other garnish, and enjoy. And that's all there is to making these creepy farm treats. So, Frankie, how did you like this episode? Well, I'm pretty happy I didn't end up buried in the ground. Speaking of, uh, can you look at this hypno wheel for me? For, uh, non-hypnosis reasons. Well, uh, uh, as long as it's for, uh, non-hypnosis reasons. Son of a bitch! I'm being hypnotized! Uh, Wait, what's... My life, my life is a fucking joke.